very easy to see. My uh, D light is flashing. My ABS light is just something that's on with my brake lights. It's been like that for a while. I haven't been able to determine. I think this connection is just not made. Now, I see my RPMs are going, but there is no speed. And of course, I am driving. Um, after this red light, because I've heard one diagnosis, uh, this is my mother's car, that not until she gets up to a certain speed will she actually have it go. So I'm going to excessively speed, which will be what I would determine is about 40, 45. And I've got no response. She says some days it works, some days it doesn't. Socket wrench, 10 millimeter socket. <laughs> 10 millimeter socket, An extension, Phillips head screwdriver. Other parts that I will be using. I've got two of them. These are used second-hand pieces that I'll be using as examples to make sure that the part that I'm changing is going to be the correct part to fix the problem. Uh, this is what I am doing. Of course, you, um, knowing that this would be your problem, would go ahead and do your interchange with the actual part, brand new or rebuilt, of course. Um, this is one type. This is the exact same unit, but it just has an, a lead extension. So this is the engine passenger side of the Honda Accord 83. It's going to do it. It's going to remove this bolt, this two, from connecting here. Over on top, there's another two and a screw. Go ahead and get a closer look at those two pieces. So over inside you're going to have this tube and screw right in there, so you can see that, oh, there you are. So you're going to loosen this one, which I've already done, you're going to pull this tube, which I've just now done. Anything connected in here, go ahead and pull that off. This tube I've already taken out of place, and this one I've already loosened. It's going to allow me, basically I'm doing this with one hand, so this will be easier for you to go in, pull this out from the air canister, again this is 83 Honda Accord, I'm twisting it slightly so that I could pull this out, and that's the unit. Now, this of course is working on removing the speed sensor or speed sending unit, which is way down right there. See that little piece? That's the unit we're going to be removing. Okay? So, on this unit, you can see one right there. That's a 10 millimeter bolt. On the other side is a 10 millimeter bolt. If yours has a wire lead, then it'll be a wire lead coming out. Otherwise, instead of a wire lead, it'll be a plug going into it. Okay, that's what we'll be removing next. All right, so once again to get down there, I'm going to use my ratchet, my extension, and my 10 millimeter socket. I wish I had one more extension, but I don't. Anyway, so going down, let's see if I can get you at a good angle in here. Right there, now I've got it on one bolt. See that right there? Bolt. There's the unit. There's one bolt right next to it. So I've got it locked on that bolt. Again, for placement, I'll back off a little bit so you can see that. See it's on the side of the engine. Going down. So I'm going to remove that one. And the other. And then remove the unit. 
Alright, so down inside now I've already taken the screws out. So it quite simply just pulls up and out. I'm leaving these screws in place. This will help as a guide for easy removal. Now on the other side of it, because this is the one with the lead wire that plugs in. It's got a little lead wire. So I'll be unplugging this as well, disconnecting the whole unit. Ready for removal. Okay. This is the plug that you'll be unplugging for my particular one. Yours may not have a lead wire, it may just be a regular unit. Alright, so this is the old unit removed. Very simple. Of course it's going to look good, you don't know. This could be the electronics inside. So, And then there's a pin that goes with it. Make sure you also replace the pin. This pin basically sits in here, which helps to spin the unit. Once again, the pin sits in here, which spins the unit and allows for the readings to be sent so that it knows what speed your vehicle is going. Useful information for you as the driver. And of course, your CPU for knowing what gear to put the transmission in. Mine is automatic, of course. You'll notice that it has these two pins here, get a good view on it. you want to line that up and I recommend that you put the pin first inside of the transmission in so that you don't lose it trying to slide it in like this. It will hold it but it just seems to me makes more sense to put that pin into the transmission side first so from the unit that I'll be replacing it with quite simply going to pull that pin Going back to my engine, you can see it right there, I'm going to go down to it, place that pin back inside a little groove, get a good shot of it, I don't think I can get a good shot so I'm just going to go ahead and place it. The pin is placed right there inside of that little groove, zoom in on it for you. Let's see if it'll focus. Right there in that groove. Got it? Pin that I replaced is right in the center of it. Okay. Got that? Cool. As you see, that's my lead plug. So now, with replacing the unit, I'm going to first plug it in, simplify, putting it down to line up onto the pin and into position and screwing the bolts back on. That's the next step. So continuing where we left off, I'm gonna put my replacement unit. Once again for mine, it's a used unit. This is mostly just to verify that this is my actual issue. Um, I know my vehicle has many issues. So putting the pin harness back on, back together. Simple enough. This is hard <laughs> doing it one hand, so this should be a lot easier for you guys. You see the alignment? That hole in there is what I'm going to put the top of that pin or the other end of that pin onto and then align in place. So I'm just basically reaching down. You can feel as you get the holes close to where they should be for the bolts to line up that your pin and its hole, coordinating hole, synchronized hole the line up and you'll be able to slide the unit on there you just twist it a tiny bit can you see this there you go so lining that up putting it in place kind of use your imagination with it a little bit all right got what feels to be the alignment and yes in place all right so now it's in the unit remember that's the unit that's one of the bolt holes the other bolt hole on the other side so now i'm just gonna screw it back to on these are my 10 millimeter bolts that i took off from before so of course don't throw those away don't lose them that's the next step yeah <laughs> all right so got it in position got it in place now i'm just 
bolting on those two 10 millimeter bolts. So that's the one on one side. Good extension is very crucial for using this, for doing this appropriately. And since I'm doing this with one hand, that's why you have the pauses in the video. I've done this finger tight first, just to make sure it's in place. And then I'll go back and tighten, tighten it with the actual socket driver, which now they're both finger tight. So the socket driver in place, as you see, going here, going down, going through to get to it. Nice and tight, yes. Other side, a little bit further in for the other side one. See it's down there. That's the one that I'm getting to. There it is. Lock onto it and tighten into position. Ready to go. In position, ready to go. All right. Uh, plug pin is already pulled in, so now I'm doing the reverse of the air filter tube which is putting it back in again putting it back in easy enough little angle goes in there clips on simple enough okay other side goes in here air canister by the way mine is already loose as well of course you will want to loosen yours if you want it just as easy Going into place. Into place. Uh, make sure it's seated properly. All the way to the edge. Perfect. Here. Put your tube back in. Put your next tube in. Tighten your screws. This one. And this one is what I'll do next. Do that off camera. It's not necessary, all of you should know how to do that. Next one is testing to see if now my speedometer should be working. All right, now this is after the unit is replaced. Let's see if it's working. I'm gonna go down the streets. Yay, I've got speed. Transmission draws a lot better now, and yes, I am moving. Very easy to see. So, I have to go with um, successful in two reasons one that was my issue two the used one i have seems to be working fine so for myself in particular i will be using i'm going to a stop now i'm going to u-turn it for my particular experiment which is checking to see if that was the actual issue by replacing it with a used one that i knew that worked i am actually going to go ahead and leave that used one in there and if it breaks down again later then I will replace it completely with a brand new one knowing that that's what my issue was I'm making a u-turn right now so that's why you can't really see things too well all right u-turn is completed so again going down the street yes working and yes I am moving compared to earlier which I did not have this so problem is solved